When they jump, they've got um, webbing on the hands and feet, not for swimming, but actually <laughs> to help them glide. So they, they oh, almost no. fly through the air, like, like that. that. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm at the Manchester Science Festival and as part of that, I've come to the Manchester Museum and I'm about to get a behind the scenes exclusive peek at the museum's vivarium. And I'm going to meet Andrew Gray, who is the head of herpetology and he's going to show me three of the rare and endangered species. At the Manchester Museum, we've got one of the largest collection of, of monkey frogs and, and leaf frogs in the world. Right. A lot of these are really unusual, from, um, a lot of them from the tropics, some okay. of them from cent Central and South America. So the largest one we've got is this one here. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm so excited! Okay, so this one is actually um, an Amazonian giant monkey frog. Um, it's a really, really cool species. A giant monkey frog. She's beautiful, she's from the Amazon. She's got these gripping hands and feet. <laughs> Basically, that's how she gets the name monkey frog because she climbs around rather than jumps. But oh, females she are, is awesome! The, the females are bigger oh than the males. Oh my goodness me, so, buddy! There you go. I can't believe I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> so, what can you tell me about the giant monkey frog? Okay, they've got a really unusual secretion in the skin, and also a very unusual pigment in the skin that actually can help reflect the UV light um, and particularly the infrared light. So it's like sunblock? Yeah, so if you look <laughs> at these with an infrared camera, they actually glow white, which is really remarkable. Do they? And they're one of the, the only groups of frogs in the world that have this particular pigment in its skin. So it's you really cool. are absolutely gorgeous. These are an unusual um, leaf frog now. These are from Costa Rica and these actually have got the ability to be able to glide. They sleep under the leaves. Okay. There we go. Hello Poppy. Um, and these have got beautiful sort of dark red eyes. Now yes. these do jump so we might jump but when they jump they've got um, webbing on the hands and feet not for swimming but actually <laughs> to help them glide. So they, they almost go. fly through the air like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually filmed these as part of um, one of the David Attenborough programs which was Planet Earth we filmed them in Costa Rica gliding and then we got them actually in the studio uh, down in Bristol. We put them over fans and yeah. as soon as they go over a fan, they actually adopt the gliding position so we're able to turn the fans up and down and have them gliding up and down, wow. which is pretty amazing. But the, the lemur frogs that I want to show you, they don't okay. have any webbing on the hands and feet at all. Okay. They've got no webs whatsoever so they can't glide but they walk around again a bit like a lemur really. So this particular group of frogs we've got, these are our lemur leaf frogs. Now they're one of the most critically endangered frogs in the world. They only come from one little area, this, this particular population. So this is a lemur leaf frog and you can see how he sleeps on the leaf. They sleep ah, yeah. all day on the leaves, very, very hard to spot in the wild. So what is it you can do to protect them? Well, you can um, you could sponsor a leaf frog if you wanted to and those funds to go directly yeah. to support them in the wild. Okay. And you get to come here, you get to see all these amazing frogs behind the scenes, uh -huh. as well as a book all about frogs of the world, which would make a fantastic Christmas present for anybody. Hey, there you um, go, guys. And, you know, that w the money goes directly to supporting them in the wild. So these are amazing frogs. They've got these huge eyes, vertical pupils in their eyes. They stay bright green during the day, mm -hmm. uh, but at night they go chocolate brown, so, oh. they, so they're well camouflaged. Wow, they're almost cartoony, aren't they? Why is it this species are so endangered? Well, it used to occur quite the way through Costa Rica, and even in the highland areas mm. in the north, and, and over the years it's declined right the way through. There's been a variety of different things responsible, oh my um, gosh. including a fungus that's affecting the skin, which stops them from being able to absorb the moisture they need. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why, so it could be a fungus, could be a variety. So it could be a fungus. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> Guys, I have a frog on my face. <laughs> I don't know what else to say really. That is absolutely brilliant. I think you should all definitely, definitely sponsor a lima leaf frog for this very reason. Andrew, thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this like whirlwind tour of uh, behind the scenes at the Manchester Museum. <laughs> Subscribe <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye. I can't believe I have a frog on my face. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. A massive thank you to Andrew for showing me around the incredible vivarium. Here are the links to my last two videos and make sure you check out the websites for the Manchester Science Festival and the Manchester Museum. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Stay curious. Bye.